All right, y'all. How y'all doing? My name is Rodney MC Shaky Roussel. Uh, I am a blogger and a uh, YouTuber and all that stuff from New Orleans, Louisiana. If this is your first time watching me, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Uh, we're definitely getting into a situation that is near and dear to me. I am personally a victim of what the Harrises can do. I say the Harrises, and I'm talking about Clifford, T.I. Harris, Annie Cotto Harris. Those two individuals uh, I'm a victim of. And the, in another video, I'll show how they exasperated my own legal situation. I'm actually on my way um, to federal prison that I'm serving a 70-month sentence on, and my situation was definitely uh, inflamed by the Harrises. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to prove to you how I have evidence of Clifford T.I. Harris giving information on uh, Jeffrey Williams and Sergio Kitchens. Both of those are Young Thug and Gunna. And people on the internet are speculating that he has something to do with it, but I know he has something to do with it, number one. Number two, I know, and the, the motive isn't him trying to clean up the community. The motive isn't him trying to uh, clean up. <laughs> That's not the motive. The motive is to save himself from a federal indictment. And I'm going to get into that and show you how I know it. But before I do that, I just want to backtrack on who I am real, real quickly. Uh, I met Tiny uh, a while ago. Uh, during the situation, I don't know, it was a while ago, it was a couple of years ago, went through uh, a mutual friend of mine named Shekinah Joe Anderson. We, I, I met, that's how I met and was introduced to Tiny. Uh, I was working with Shekinah on a reality show. Uh, Tiny came in as supposed to be like just a little silent partner and uh, eventually basically derailed our show. Uh, it is the show that uh, the Bad Boys Clubs and stuff like that was kind of based and structured off of. Um, our show never uh, got to culmination because of Tiny's and T.I.'s speculations of sexual assault and victimization. All right. So with that, without further ado, I'm going to just get right into it. All right. So there is a colorful history between myself and Tiny. You can go ahead and Google that or YouTube that if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to get into all that and the goings on. I'm going to jump, jump right into it. All right. So this guy right here, who I'm about to show y'all, his name is Tyrone Blackburn. Now, if y'all have heard his name before, uh, he is a celebrity attorney from New York. Um, he's one of the people that was involved in the suing of um, Tiny and T.I., amongst other celebrity people. Uh, I got introduced to Tyrone Blackburn because he came into my DMs and I will bring it up on January 26, 2022. And it just basically says, uh, good afternoon, MC Shaky. I hope this finds you well. My name is Tyrone Blackburn. I'm an attorney representing several women who have accused Clifford Harris, Tamika Harris, is drugging and R-wording them. I was given some of your recent interviews and I would like to chat with you about them. There's a lot happening behind the scenes surrounding the investigation of the Harrises. And I believe that you or and your guests may be able to help. I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a blessed day. Um, I hearted it and asked him for his number. Right. So January 26th. I was already indicted at that time. So uh, that's what I was doing. <laughs> so that's him. And basically, of course, y'all know me. I crossed my season, dot the eyes. I actually recorded the conversation, so I'm going to bring that up right now. Let me pull it up real, real quick and show y'all. And <laughs> I recorded the conversation. Of course I did. So I just want to show y'all. This is from my iCloud real quick. And it is actually showing the date of January 27th, So which is basically the next day. I talked to him the next day. I found out the council for... Um for 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 Sabrina and her case against uh, Shekinah, it'll be someone else. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Gotcha. My, I, my main focus is really making sure that um, that law enforcement um, has the ability to speak to individuals that can shed light on the culture. So the lawyer is saying that his main focus 
is to make sure that law enforcement has the ability to speak to people who can shed light on the culture of what goes on in T.I. and Tiny Home. And or the patterns or practices that have occurred within um, Harris's home. But I'll be quite honest with you, I don't think Shekana has much to worry about. Okay, so he thinks Shekana got much to worry about, but pay attention. He does say specifically that his focus is to make sure that what goes on in T.I. and Tiny Home, the putting them in the basement and tying them up and the young girls, all this stuff, is known by law enforcement. All right? So this is a genuine. I want to just for, let y'all hear that one time. What he says, this is the attorney. Uh, what he says. It'll be someone else. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Gotcha. My, I, my main focus is really making sure that um, that law enforcement um, has the ability to speak to individuals that can shed light on the culture and or the patterns and practices that have occurred within um, Harris's home. But okay, stop right there. Now, <sighs> that's what the lawyer says. Uh, so, my focus, though, is my friend, and I want to make sure that my friend was okay, which is Shekinah, and I want to see if you could get off of her case because she ain't got nothing to do with it. All right. So sometime later, I get a text from him. We're talking actually about some stuff. We uh actually meet in uh Georgia for some stuff. Unrelated. I was actually trying to sue the Harris's myself, which I'm still going on with, but I can't talk about that much right now. So uh we meet in Georgia. Uh, let me take this off so you can see the date. So the date is Thursday, May 12th. He hits me up and then gives me the address or something. And he says, good afternoon, Mr. MC Shaky. This is Tyron Blackburn. I'm here with Special Agent Buffalo with the Department of Homeland Security. And I was wondering if it would be okay to give him your number to discuss the Harris's criminal charges. So this lawyer is serious. Now, pay attention to the date. The date has something to do with it because I'm going to tell you all something. May 12th. May 12th is when he does that. Uh, I want to show you this as well real quickly. Um, all right. So, all right. It says, good afternoon, Mr. Russo. This is Special Agent Buffalo with the Homeland Security Investigations. I was told that you were interested in speaking with us. Please let us know when it's convenient for you and we can hop on a call. Thank you. I said, what's your availability? How about today at 4.30? Uh, I said, I'm sorry, just got this. I'll be free anytime tomorrow. Uh, I ghosted him, of course, because he's a federal agent. I did confirm that he was a special agent by uh, uh, looking at this, which I... Oh, I will call it, my bad. Uh, I did by looking at this, which is uh, the Zoom info file for a Antonio... Buffalo, he was the criminal investigator for the Department of Homeland Security, and that was confirmed. All right, so there was an investigation with Homeland Security, which investigates human trafficking, the R word, taking young girls from state line, cross state line, um, kidnapping, putting them, tying them up, things like that. This is all what the accusations against T.I. were, and he was under investigation. So I actually to pay attention to the date, May 12th. So May 12th is the Thursday following the Monday to which the YSL, all of the RICO indictments came down. It happened the same week. And I was being courted by the federal government, the Department of Homeland Security, for information and interviews that I had done with people that had formerly worked in their home. So let's just add one more piece to the pie. And the reason why I, I had to hold up on this video and edit it yesterday, just yesterday, T.I. received an award <laughs> okay, from the president of the United States, right? L literally literally getting awards from the Georgia Secretary of State, the federal government, 
even so much as the president and vice president. Mind you, this is someone who recently was accused of a multitude of sexual allegations and all encompassing YSL's RICO involvement. Now, people are saying he did this to clean up the community. No, 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 no. T.I., understand, them people used to rent his studio. He owned the studio where they recorded it, and they were renting it from them. And also, you have to understand, T.I. has his pulse. He has a cusp of the streets of Atlanta. I witnessed this myself, just going around with Tiny and see how still close to people in the hood they are and how you supposed to be tiny miss mamas and everything and you could walk around in the hood like ain't nothing happening that means you're still in the pulse of the hood that means you're still into the that means you still have your hand and grasp on what's going on in the hood what happens is he have people that's around these young rappers telling them what these young rappers are doing and he is introducing he's playing segue between the people that he have watching these young rappers that are in the hood and the federal government so while he might not be actively ratting himself, he's making the connections between the people that want to be rats or the people that need to be rats or the people that know what's going on and the people that can effectuate change like the district attorney of Georgia, the federal prosecutor, the federal U.S. attorney. And he just got a war from the feds after these sexual allegations just magically disappear. He never put those connections together for... Want to clean up the community, wanting to no, he put those connections together to get the Department of Homeland Security off of his back. Now, I would love to, to play for you the recording between myself and the federal the prosecutor, Antonio Bofalo, but uh according to my attorney, that would be a very bad idea, especially since I'm trying to stay in prison the least amount of time possible, not the most. Um, because even though Louisiana is a one party state and I can record like the attorney or if I have a, like a personal party, a special agent with the Department of Homeland Security is a different monster altogether. But I will say right now, currently, there is no longer a criminal investigation against T.I. and Tiny, even after all their lawsuits and civil stuff still going on. But as far as the criminal allegations, they magically disappear right around the time in May of in, in May. Uh, right around the time the entire YSL and all those parties got the Rico indictments. I'm just saying. And then a few weeks later, here comes CI getting a medal from the president after magically disappearing sexual abuse allegations. Make it make sense. And I'm just saying what it is. So that's how I know, without a shadow of doubt in my mind, that not only T.I. is not ratting, he's really uh, facilitating ratting. He's actually the rat middleman. He's the snitch middleman. And I can say that because I don't have a 5K1 on my paperwork at all. I mean, and I'm, you know, whatever. That's what's happened. And that's the proof that y'all need right there. I was right in the cusp of what was going on because of my own involvement with it when interviewing the people that worked in their house. Uh, very soon, I will be releasing the entirety of the video between their old friends, Kitty and Gabe. I've got to release the whole thing so y'all can hear exactly what was going on in their house. I have interviewed several people that have been in their house and know what's going on. And some of that stuff, I would, it's like it would make you sick to your stomach, to be honest with you. And magically all this stuff disappears. These are the same people that was talking to the to the prosecutors about them and magically disappears. Magically, he get um so while he might not be actively providing information, he's telling the feds who has the information that they're looking for. That's what he's doing. And he's doing it to save himself from the indictment that he was facing for those sexual allegations. Y'all, right now, currently, if y'all watching this, more than likely uh, I might be in jail or I'm at least on my way to going. Please, y'all, if y'all can support my um Cash App is free, MC Shaky. Uh, <laughs> go to freemcshaky.com, buy a t-shirt, watch a, watch a YouTube video, like, share, and subscribe. These videos don't get monetized because of what the subject matter is. But if you go watch another video, it would definitely help me with the algorithm. Please hit a like and subscribe. I'm bringing y'all straight, exclusive, undisputed information. So thank y'all very much, and I'll talk to y'all on the other side.